and welcome to this tutorial on how to get started with DuckSoup. So the first thing, you're on the main uh, home index screen, I guess, the splash page. So when you get to this, obviously you can create account, sign in to the top right. Your students and teachers will both do the same thing. So if I create an account, if I click Google, uh, later on it'll ask me if I'm a student or a teacher. Just make sure that your students pick student and um, we make it kind of a little bit difficult to switch from student to teacher just because we don't want students to be able to do that easily. So um, if you don't have a Google account, you can click there and go ahead and create one. The only thing right here when it says teacher and student, if I click teacher, it makes the email not optional. And if I click student, it's optional because not all students have emails. So um, I'll just click teacher. There we go. You'll notice it's not optional anymore. So now if I were to try to do that, it would tell me it's required. I can sign in with my Google account and I'll just show you if I click sign in and sign with my Google account it doesn't matter if I create an account or sign in the first time with it it automatically takes care of it when you click Google so I'm gonna go ahead and do that because as a teacher this is DuckSoup is made to integrate with Google so some of this real quick so email address basic profile info that's exactly just so that DuckSoup knows who you are, right? And then Google Drive, these right here are just needed so that um, you can actually go in and pick things from your Google Drive and then uh, DuckSoup can save your backup uh, e-sheets that you create onto your Google Drive. Um, that's really all it is. There's it, There can't be anything done to your Google Drive that's malicious or anything like that. It's just, it only works if you're actually in there uh, on your computer yourself. Nobody else can access your Google Drive uh, just because you give this information here. So, feel secure. Uh, Google takes care of all that. So, we click Allow. And so, the first time I come in here as a teacher, I have to pick teacher or student. Make sure your students pick student. I'm going to go ahead and pick teacher. It's going to start to walk me through some steps just to make sure that I have put a name here. And uh, that's that's because obviously if I pick Google, it already has my name. But let's say I want to change it, and so I can change it right there. And uh, it's just telling you to click update um, whenever you're done. And then it's going to make sure that you recognize that this is over here blinking, saying create a class. So I got it. I'm going to create a class, and I'm just going to call it my first period. And so DuckSoup tries to walk you through a couple of different things it tries to get you started as best it can so don't don't ignore these when you go through just go ahead and do them so the first thing it wants to do is it wants to create an e-sheet so it says we don't have any e-sheets let's go ahead and do this and so now it's going to try to walk me through and uh, it tells me that you know documents PDFs anything I have inside my Google Drive and actually, this is a private, this is a uh, practice account, so I don't think I have anything here. I'll, I'll go ahead and try to find something, though. Okay, so it, it walks me through, and I'm just going to click got it here, and then I, I'll walk you through it. So, um, that's, so the first thing here is when I go ahead and click um, anything up here, so I can click a document, a PDF in my Google Drive, or I can select a, a PDF from my computer. Um, just so everybody knows, the document PDFs, it looks for the last year of a document PDF that you have actually touched and edited. So that's kind of how Google works. It wants to know that, you know, because you might be like me and my personal Google Drive, I have, you know, thousands of documents and PDFs. So really, it's the only ones that I have recently touched that I want to see up top. Because obviously, if I'm being prepared to, if I'm getting prepared to actually... Uh, teach something in my classroom, I've probably already edited it inside my Google Drive. And so it's going to be the, the ones that are t on top and most recent. Now, if I want to, down here, I can go ahead and, this is grid view, I can pick list view, and then I can actually go search through it. I believe it's only going to try to pick, get the top 50. So the top 50 and within the last year that you've actually touched is what it looks for. And it makes it nice and easy for you to search here, or I can click grid view and select something. 